Hey, hey, y'all. I'm Tiffany. The cows are talking. Hey, hey, y'all. Everybody's talking. All the animals are talking. Hey, hey, y'all. I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life, and this is our small town homestead. <laughs> Stand you up. Can I stand you up? I don't know if I can stand you up. I have been looking forward to filming this video and it's the perfect day for it. We've had some beautiful weather. Yesterday I took the boys fishing. We went out to the lake and I took them fishing. They had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Over the weekend we were able to do some work in the garden. Justin got the tiller out and he started tilling in where we had put some shavings and things where we cleaned out the the chicken coops we put that on the garden to use as a fertilizer and to help enrich our soil and so he started working that into the ground over the weekend it's just been so beautiful and this weather has brought so many hopes and dreams and excitement of what the spring and summer will hold i know we're not quite there yet but we're heading in that direction and i can feel it today i'm going to share with you about why i garden and hopefully give you some encouragement on why you might want to garden as well. I can't look you in the eye and say this is why you should garden, but I can hopefully give you some motivation, some inspiration, and if nothing else, at least get the wheels turning and get you thinking about it so that you can figure out your why. In order to do that, I'm gonna share mine with you. This video is somewhat tailored toward beginner gardeners or someone who's never gardened before. However, if you're a seasoned gardener, I think that you can find some value in this video as well. And I hope that, you know, if nothing else, I give you a little bit of motivation. A little bit of a kickstart as we get into this spring gardening season. I also intend to create a series for you as beginner gardeners to help you get it, getting your soil ready, buying seeds, starting seeds, getting your starts in the ground, getting seeds in the ground, how to care for and tend to your garden, harvesting from your garden, preserving from your garden. Plan to share all of those things with you. So if that's something that would be interesting to you, something you think would be helpful, and you're not already subscribed and part of our family, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and join us for the fun. And like I said, not only will it be fun, hopefully it will be incredibly knowledgeable and will help you along your journey. Y'all, there's a lot of learning to be done when it comes to gardening. I still have a lot of learning left to do, but hopefully I can share what I know with you and help you along the way. We've had a lot of rain here recently. We've had some beautiful days the last few days, but you can tell we've had a lot of rain too, and I think that it might be returning, so we're trying to soak up the sunshine while we can. These chickens, they're going to be rowdy since I'm out here talking to you. One of my main reasons for gardening is that I want to create those memories and pass those skills on to my children. I think that any of us, if someone said, here's a gift, a gift that you can give your children and it will help them provide for themselves and their family down the road, wouldn't we give that gift to our children? And now look at gardening that way. It's a gift that I can pass on to my children and one day they can use it to take care of themselves and their families. Preserving, cooking from scratch, all of those are skills that we can learn if we don't already have them, we can learn them. You're never too old to learn. And then we can pass them on to our children. I grew up in the garden with my pawpaw and in the kitchen with my mama. And I know that they knew it. I didn't realize it at the time, but I know that they knew it. I hope they know how important it was and how important it has become to me as an adult. But they were passing on a love for gardening and they were passing on a love for preserving and cooking from scratch in me. And that has made such a difference. Looking back on it, thinking about those memories, y'all, they're worth more than gold. I wouldn't trade them for anything. And hopefully one day my children look back and feel the same way. I know there are a lot of people who say, oh, I have some seeds saved away. They're in a backpack in a closet in case I was to need them. If worse comes to worse and I have to grow my own food, I've got some seeds. But y'all, gardening is a learning experience. Things are not always going to go perfect the first time. You have to learn your soil. You have to learn about the seeds. You have to learn what different vegetables and different varieties need to grow well. It's also very important to learn how to save seeds so that next season you have something to plant and to grow. And if you're just saving those seeds away for, for a rainy day, yes, that's better than nothing. But if you're just saving them away for a rainy day, 
when that day comes, are you going to know how to use them? Are you going to know the best way to provide for your family with them? Why not start now? It's fun anyway, and you can learn and have a skill because gardening is a skill. You can develop that skill and learn how to garden so that if worse comes to worse, not only do you have the seeds, but you know how to use them. I also think that it's pretty undeniable how prices are in the grocery stores right now. And I want you to take a second and think about how much you spend on produce every month in the grocery store. What if you could cut out that cost? What if you could provide that for yourself? That'd be a pretty good chunk of change for most people. I know if I bought all of my produce in the grocery store, that'd be several hundred dollars a month. And by gardening, I can save that. I can have fresh food in the spring and in the summer, some in the fall and winter as well. And then I can preserve my harvest. And so I have those spring and summer vegetables in my pantry or in my freezer throughout the winter. And y'all, grocery store food doesn't compare to home grown food. There's nothing like a fresh tomato out of your summer garden. Nothing compares to it. If you don't do anything this year, Get you a tomato plant, put it in the ground, give it a little love, and pick those fresh, vine-ripened tomatoes. Because, y'all, the tomatoes you get in the grocery store, they're picked when they're green. They travel a long way to get to you. It's nothing like a homegrown tomato. Pick you a vine-ripened tomato this summer, and if that doesn't give you a love... <laughs> and an excitement for gardening and motivate you to want to do more, I don't know what will. You do not have to start large. Now, if you've been around here, then you know that we do this small garden right here by our house. And then we also do a large garden that's close to an acre over with my mom and stepdad. But you don't have to start with that much. You can start with a small garden. You can start with some raised beds. We do raised beds as well. You can start with some pots on your porch just get started. Gardening also gives you the opportunity to try new and exciting foods. So for example, how many grocery stores, how many Walmarts, Kroger's, Ingles have you been in that have purple carrots or hellstone radishes or cucumelons? Those aren't things that you're going to see in the everyday grocery store because grocery store vegetables are tailored to the masses. They're tailored to things that they can give a long shelf life to, varieties that will have a long shelf life. They're tailored to the things that people are used to seeing because that's what the majority of people will buy. But when you're growing your own food, you can try those new things. I love radishes, but until I started growing my own, I didn't realize that there are hailstone radishes, French breakfast radishes, icicle radishes, purple top radishes. There's so many fun and exciting varieties that you can try when you're growing it yourself. Things that you're not gonna get in the grocery store. Wyatt is wanting to come out on the porch and ride on his little ride-on toy. Why not, right? It's a beautiful day. And y'all, you can feel God's presence in the garden. From the second you stand in empty soil and put a little seed in the ground or a tiny little plant start, you can feel his presence. And then hold on, because once you're standing in that garden and it's full of lush green vines and red tomatoes and yellow squash, there's no denying God's presence. There's no denying his power and his might because yes, we have to do our part, but we can't do it without him. That garden grows because of the soil he's provided, because of the sunlight and the rain he provides. We do our part and then he does his. There's also a huge sense of accomplishment that comes with gardening, a pat on the back, if you will, because it is hard work. Go into it expecting that it's gonna be hard work, but it's the hard work that's fun. It's a fun kind of hard work and it's so rewarding. Most things worth having are a little bit of work. Gardens are work, but when you are able to go out with your basket, harvest fruit, harvest vegetables from your hard work, it is so rewarding. It gives you such a sense of pride in knowing that you did that for yourself and you did it for your family. Look at those skies, how beautiful. I have a little boy who's calling for his mama. I can hear him, and I'm coming, baby. Hopefully, I got your wheels going today. There are reasons upon reasons that you would want to garden. Hopefully, I've given you 
at least some food for thought today. If you're excited about gardening, if you want to join us this spring garden season, like I said, there'll be plenty of videos coming out talking about getting your soil ready, buying your seeds, starting your seeds, growing your food, harvesting your food, and preserving your food. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, if homemaking and homesteading sounds interesting to you, we'd love to have you subscribe and join us. Let me go see what this baby's wanting. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. I see the problem. He wants off the porch. He wants to play out in the yard. The porch isn't doing the trick. He wants out here in the grass. Is that what you're wanting, baby?